Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Last night, you know, I was so I was so anxious. It was hard for me to go to sleep. I woke up at like 6:30. Couldn't go back to sleep. So, as long as I can remember, um, since I was uh, when I was about four or five, I used to think you have to pay to play in the NFL, and I was ready to pay. So it's been my dream since I was little. It's been the only dream I really had that um, and, and never left, and it never will leave. I'm a love football always, and I'm just I'm I'm excited just thinking about um, having an opportunity. <laughs> Huge day at Boise State as the now former Broncos try to take the next step in their football careers. Today, scouts from 17 different NFL teams made the trip out to the City of Trees as BSU held their pro day. Boise State running back George Halani is the top prospect from Boise State in the upcoming draft. He told us he's talked with representatives from almost every NFL team and even still has more meetings coming up on the way. Today, Halani let his NFL combine numbers from a couple weeks ago speak for themselves, so we didn't see him run in the 40 yard dash or do the bench press, but he did run some routes and do some running back drills. He told us he really wanted to show his ability to catch the ball. He also says he's been talking with Las Vegas Raiders running back and former Boise State running back Alexander Madison going through the process of trying to get an NFL opportunity. As everything gets a little bit closer, he told us what this chance means to him. I mean, I'm I'm excited. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for every moment, every opportunity that has been given. Um, I finished my time here with the championship, so I mean that's a blessing. And then um, just being able to just enjoy these next couple, you know, weeks and uh, enjoy, take it all in, soak it all in, because this is just a one, one in a lifetime opportunity. Now, we also had some tough news at the end of Pro Day. Boise State wide receiver Billy Bowens was having one of the best showings of anyone out there on the field, getting the top marks with a 39 and a half inch vertical jump and a 446 40 yard dash. But during position drills, his day would end early. Bowens was injured while receiving a deep pass. After getting checked out, he was carted off of the field. We don't have any updates on his condition at this time, but after the events, fellow wide receiver Steph Cobbs talked about Bowens' great day and the strength that he he has already shown for his ability to bounce back. Yeah, man. I mean, I almost teared up. I kind of had to, uh, I kind of had to lock back in, shake back up because you know we came in together. Uh, we've been tight since day one, since 2018. Um, Billy showed out today. I mean, and, and everybody could see that. Billy did his thing. He looked good in everything. I think he was the number one in all, in all aspects of testing. So um, just knowing, knowing Bill, man, I know he's gonna bounce back. Um, I just want him to know, like, he keep his head up. This guy saw what you could do and um, just keep uh, going through this process. And, you know, I'm going to be with him every step of the way, no matter what. And Morgan, of course, devastating news for anybody in this situation. I mean, especially after a great showing that he had. The good thing about that, his numbers really do speak for themselves. If he can recover, he, he's capable of posting those, those great marks. Second, as we've probably said throughout mm -hmm. Billy Bones' Boise State career, one of the most positive and optimistic guys. I just know he's going to attack this new challenge the right way and do everything he has to, to keep this dream alive. Like you said, this isn't his only chance. I mean, this is his first chance, but it's not his only chance. Absolutely, especially with all the uh, the spring leagues. Yeah. All these guys are going to have plenty of opportunities down the line, so okay, it's going to be exciting to keep up with them. Okay, I'll be in our thoughts. All right, we're back after this.